welcome to this vinyasa flow yoga. Uh, today it's quite a dynamic practice, so really working into the hips. And we're actually going to kind of incorporate the warm up into the sun salutations. So we're pretty much going to get straight into it. But just before we start to move, we're going to take a little bit of time to arrive on our mats. Sitting up on your mat, you can sit on a block to help elongate your spine. Rolling your shoulders back a couple of times. And then relaxing them back and down. Sitting up tall. Closing down your eyes if they're not already and just start coming to your breath. Nice steady breaths in and out through your nose. Inhale for a count of four. And exhale for a count of four. Switching on your ujjayi breath, your ocean breath. Restricting the back of the throat to create that audible sound. Engaging your balances on your exhale. So imagine engaging the pelvic floor, stopping yourself going to the toilet. And Uddiyana Bandha, so lower abdominals. Just on the exhale and the inhale, letting everything go. Feeling your belly expanding. Always bringing your awareness back to your breath if your mind starts to wander. As long as you're with your breath, you are in your yoga practice. It's a moving meditation. We use the asana, the physical practice, to quieten down our minds. And every time you notice yourself getting distracted, come back to your breath. Inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Being really present in this very moment. And then blinking open your eyes. You can start straight to downward facing dog. Plugging down through your fingers, first finger forward. Press at the floor away, tucking your toes under, lifting your hip. You can just bend into one knee and the other. Stretching into your calves and your hamstrings. Pressing the floor away. Pulling your hands apart so you're activating through your shoulders. So we're going to warm up really through our Sura Namaskar A. So we're going to come straight to the tops of the mat. Slowly walking your feet towards your hands coming into your ragdoll. You shake your body side to side. Keep your knees soft. Nod your head yes, shake your head no. And then releasing your hands, slowly rolling up vertebra by vertebra. And then inhale, bring your arms by your ears, hold your left wrist, lengthen through the side of your body. As you exhale, take a side bend to your right. Inhale to centre, exhale to your left. Inhale to centre. Exhale, bring your arms by your side. We're going to do another roll down. Inhale, chin to chest. Peeling through your spine, upper back, middle back, lower back. Vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way down. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, pressing down through your feet, rolling up again. Head really heavy until you get to the top. Head comes up last. Inhale, arms by your ears. Exhale to your right again, maybe going a little bit further. Inhale to centre. Exhale to your left. Inhale to centre. Exhale, arms by your sides. Inhale, chin to chest. And again, we roll down vertebra by vertebra, nice and slowly. Bending your knees if you feel like that's more comfortable. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, rolling back up. All the way again. Inhale, arms by your ears. Exhale to your right, final time. Inhale to centre. Exhale to your left. Inhale to centre. Exhale, arms by your side. 
So we're going to come into a variation of Surya Namaskar now. Inhale, lifting your prayer up, look to your thumbs, squeezing your glutes, reaching. Exhale, folding over your legs, you can bend your knees here. Inhale, half lift, flat back. As you exhale, you're going to step back to a plank. But we're going to drop to the knees, coming into cat-cow. Inhale, dropping your stomach towards the mat. Exhale, pressing through your hands, doming through your spine. Inhale, coming into your cat or cow even. Exhale, pressing away. Flexion and extension through your spine. Inhale. Exhale, pressing away. Two more of these. Try to get as much movement as you can, stretching your stomach. Exhale, pressing away. Last one. And away. Then bring your knees back slightly so you're in a straight line. We're going to level all the way down to the mat. Arms by your sides. Inhale, lift and lengthen, squeezing your glutes, firing up the back side of your body. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, to lower. Inhale, lift, really drawing the shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, lower. Two more, reach and lift. Coming back down. Last time. And um, bring your hands either side of your shoulders, bracing your stomach muscles. So we're going to come up in a straight line on the knees. Tuck your toes under down facing dog. So you may bend your knees, lift your sitting bones to the ceiling. We want to pull in a level ribs here. And breathe. Look into your toes or to your knees. If you've got your heels down, you can lift your toes to help to work into the inner arch of your feet a little bit more. Inhale, we're going to step the right foot between your hands, dropping your back knee and rising up, tilting your pelvis forward. So we get length, we want to get this opening through the hip rather than through the lower back. As you exhale, you're going to reach your left arm over. Inhale, bring it back down. And again, exhale, reach. So you should feel it really through those deep hip flexors, your psoas in the side. Two more. So it's not about going super hard, far, it's about finding the stretch in the place we want to. Good. And then placing your hands down. Step left foot to meet right as you exhale. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising all the way up, and look to your thumbs. Exhale, hands to heart centre. So on the left side, inhale, lift, reaching up. Exhale, folding over your legs. You can bend your knees again. Inhale, half lift, elongating your spine. Exhale, step back to your plank. Drop to your knees. This time you're going to come into a little twist. Keeping your left arm straight, bring the right hand behind your head. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, elbow toward your wrist, keeping your pelvis as it is. Inhale, open. Exhale to twist. So working into our thoracic spine and upper back. Each time we're going to open up a little bit more, we inhale, open, fill up the lungs, exhale, find space to twist a little bit deeper. Last one on this side. And then place right hand down, left side, inhale, open, exhale, twist. Inhale, open, exhale, twist. Inhale, open, twist. Two more. Last one. And then again, bring your knees slightly further back. And then with a nice straight line, lower with control, drawing your shoulders down, down, down. This time you're going to inhale, sweep your arms by your ears. Exhale, bring them behind, bending your elbows. Inhale, sweeping your arm forward. Other arm on top this time. Inhale, sweep overhead. Elbow behind, hand, top hand. Changes each time. Last one. And then placing your hand either side of your shoulders, shoulders back and down, bracing your stomach muscles, pressing up, tucking your toes under, downward facing dog. So again, pressing the floor away, really active through your upper back, pulling in your lower ribs. So the tendency is to kind of stick and press back. You want to keep it active. Inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, step your left foot between your hands. You can always use your hand to help you. Drop your back knee and rising up. Again, that little pelvic tilt so we get into the hip flexors. As you exhale, reach your right arm over to the left. Inhale to centre. Exhale, take it over. Inhale to centre. Three more. Each time, trying to go a little bit deeper, 
really finding the stretch through your hip. Last two. And final one. Coming back. Placing your hands down. Step right foot to meet left. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, rising all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart centre. And again, inhale, lift. Reaching up. Exhale, folding over your legs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back to your plank. Dropping to your knees. This time we're going to do a little bit of work on our glutes. You can extend the right leg. As you exhale, lift your leg just to hip height. Inhale, bring it back down. Firing up your glutes. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap your toes down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Two more. And then hold it up. You can point your toe, reaching your left arm by your ear, pressing through your right hand. Firing up your banders. So each exhale, that little lift. And then replace your left hand, right knee. Same on the left. As you exhale, lift your left leg. Inhale, lower. Pressing through your hands as well. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And lower. Two more. Exhale, squeeze and lift. And lower. And hold. You can point the toe. Again, lifting out of this shoulder this time. Find your balance. Reaching through your right hand. Press the floor away. Making sure you're still breathing. And then place your right hand down. Shifting your knees back. Body nice and straight. Squeeze your glutes and pull yourself down rather than collapsing. It's all with control. Bring your arms by your sides. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Reach your fingers to your toes. Exhale, coming back down. Inhale, lift. Firing up the posterior chain, the back side of your body. Exhale, lower. Three more. Turning your thumbs outwards helps to draw your shoulders back. Last two. Final one. Coming back down, placing your hands either side, shoulders, shoulders back and down, brace, prepare, exhale, pressing up, tucking your toes up and down, facing down. Again, nice and steady breath. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Relaxing your jaw. Then inhale, step your right foot between your hands again, dropping your back knee, lifting up. This time we're going to come into some little lunges, bringing your arms by your ears. As you exhale, extend your back leg, squeeze your left glute. Inhale, coming down. Exhale, rise. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower two more. Strong back leg as high on the ball of the back foot as you can. Last one. And coming down. Rib, stepping your left foot to meet your right again. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fall. Inhale, rising all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fall. Inhale, step back to a plank, dropping to your knees. So this time we're going to come into some leg circles. So again, working in the two your glutes. Bring your right leg to the side, pressing through your hand, just lift your leg up and over, slide it to the side, up and over, slide it to the side, up and over, to the side, then the other way, slide it back, up and over. Glutes are so important in our practice, it'll protect your lower back. And then coming back, so change sides, left knee to the side, up and over, pressing through your hands, slide it over, up and over. Slide to the side, up to the side, and reverse. You take it back, pressing through your hands, slide it back. Last two. Final one. And then come back to centre, shifting your hips back, I mean your knees back again. Squeezing belly butt to spine, slowly lowering yourself all the way down. And this time we're just going to come into some leg extension. So you make a pillow with your leg, arms. As you exhale, lift and lengthen one leg. Inhale, bring it back down and change. Reaching through your toes, keep your legs super straight. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. You can stay with single legs or you can lift both at the same time. And down. Exhale, lift and lower. Again, you can stay with this. 
we're going to go into swimming legs. We're going to kick the legs back and forward. So inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And relax. This time you're going to press back into the child's pose just to release. Well done. Nice deep breath. Really should be feeling your glutes now. And then coming back to hands and knees. Looking down through your fingers, downward facing dog. Stepping your left foot between your hands, those little lunges. Rising up as you exhale. Inhale, coming back down. Squeeze and lift strong legs back down. So you should feel a stretch from the front of your right hip. Last two. Last one. Coming down and again. Right foot meets your left. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart centre. So we're going to go into a variation of Surya Namaskar B. Each one's going to be a little bit different. We're going to really work into our hips. Round one. Inhale, Udkatasana, chair pose, reaching forward. Exhale, folding over your legs. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, step or jump back to apply chaturanga or still option for knees, chest, chin. Inhale, pulling yourself through to upward facing or baby cobra. Exhale to downward facing. Inhale, lifting your right leg. As you exhale, you're circling your leg out as big as you can with that circle, bringing your right foot outside your right hand. Inhale to a journey where we drop the hips. Exhale, straightening your front leg. Inhale to your jaguar. Exhale, drop your back knee. Inhale, rising up to a high lunge. Exhale, step back to your plank. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing or baby cobra. Exhale to downward facing. Same on the left. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, that big circle as big as you can. Bringing your left foot outside your left hand. Inhale, to your jaguar, your open up your hip. Exhale, straighten your front leg. Inhale to a jaguar. Exhale, drop your back knee. Inhale, rising up to a nice strong high lunge. Exhale, step back to your plank. Jaturanga or knees, chest, chin is a great option with a straight line. Inhale to baby cobra or upward facing. Exhale to downward facing. Holding it here, or you can come to child's pose, just making sure you can breathe. So inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Nice and steady, feeling your belly expanding as you inhale. And exhale, pulling your belly button towards your spine. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. As you exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to your Udkatasana. Exhale to Dasana. Same, same, but different. Inhale to your chair, squeezing the thighs together. Exhale, folding over your legs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back to your plank, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing or baby cobra. Exhale to downward facing. Inhale, lifting your right leg. And again, that big circle. All the way outside your right hand. Inhale, we drop our hips. Exhale, straighten. Staying here. Inhale, open. Exhale, straight. Only as far as you can straighten your hamstring, it could stay bent. Inhale, open. Exhale, straighten. Two more. Inhale, drop. Exhale, extend. Last one. And extend. Back to where we came from, inhale, drop. Exhale, drop your back knee. Get your stability to inhale, rise up into a high lunge. Exhale, step back to your plank. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, pulling yourself through to upward facing your baby cobra. Exhale, to downward face. Same on the other side, inhale, lifting your left leg. Big circle, taking your foot outside your hand. Inhale, dropping your hips. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, open. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, open. And over, straighten. Two more. With 
with your breath. Open it up. Extend. Inhale, open. Exhale, drop your back knee. Strong back leg rising up to a high lunge. Exhale, step back to your plank. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, we pull our shoulders away from our ears here. Exhale, downward facing. And come back to your breath. Child pose available. It's a pose in itself, so you're still in your practice. Just feeling it in your body. Again, wriggling out your jaw, relaxing your head. And then inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step, or you can jump to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, Tadasana. One more time. Inhale to your chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back to your plank. Chaturanga or knees, chest in. Inhale, pulling ourselves through. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, lifting your right leg. Exhale, that big circle. Coming forward. Inhale, opening up our hips. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, opening up your hip. Exhale, drop your knee, rising up. Arms by your ears. High lunge. From here, we're going to come in to some little pulses. Inhale, bend the back knee. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend your back knee. Extend. Bend. Extend two more. See if you go a little, make it stronger. Go a little bit lower each time, keeping your hips level. Inhale, arms by your ears. Exhale, step back to your plank. Maybe you're doing a one leg chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing. Exhale to downward facing. Same on the left. Inhale, lifting your left leg. Big circle to the side. Inhale, opening up your hips. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, open. Exhale, coming up onto the knee. Inhale, rising up. Again, those little pulses or little lower. Slower and straighten. Lower, straight. See if you go lower each time and hold it there with a strong back leg. Inhale, lower. Straighten. Last one. Really stretching through that right hip. Inhale, open. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, step back to a plank. Maybe the one leg. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale to downward facing. And breathe. Inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Pressing your chest toward your thighs. Engaging your quadriceps if your legs are bent. Straight even. <laughs> and then inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step where you can jump to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, do your Utkatasana. Exhale, Tadasana. So we're going to do one little sequence of standing and then you can take it to the mat. Inhale to your chair pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back to your plank. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, lifting your right leg. That big circle, take it all the way out. Inhale, dropping your hips. Exhale, extend. This one, we're going to hold it here. Bring your left foot slightly to the side. So your feet are hip distance apart. Hands on your hips. Inhale, lift. Engaging through your quadricep of your right leg. Folding forward. You can stay here or you can bring your fingers down. Folding over your right leg. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Try to still squeeze your right glute in this position. It will protect your hamstring. Looking to your toes. From here, you're going to shift your weight forward. You can use a block. I'll grab my block so that you can see. Placing your block in front. So you can bring your left hand onto the block, find your balance. You can either keep your right hand on your sacrum or lift. Whoop. I'm feeling a bit wobbly today. Holding it here. Or you can play with balance. 
try to keep the hand without touching. Squeezing your left glute to keep the leg lifted. We're going to change hands, half moon. This time you're going with a block. Block in line with your little toe, about a foot distance away, stacking hip on hip. You can stay here. You can go for a bind. Ooh, where's my foot? <laughs> And from here, you're going to slowly step back, find your balance, slowly, slowly with control, step your left foot back, reverse your warrior, hold it here, drawing your left and right knee towards the little toes. You might want to lift the front knee, maybe take a half bind, reaching up and back, and then release, humble warrior, inhale, open up your chest. And straighten your right leg. Exhale, rebend, coming on the inside of your leg. So you're still using your back foot, pressing through the knife edge as you take your arms overhead to open up through your shoulders. Notice if you're pushing your right hip out, trying to hug it. Squeezing your right leg inward so you're not pushing your hips out to the side. Pull, spread, press it down through the knife edge of your back foot. Taking the fist away to open through your shoulders. And then releasing your hands, swiveling onto the ball of your back foot. You can do some little wriggles around, opening up through your hips. Then drop your back knee and tuck your toes. From here, you can stay on your hands and come onto your elbows. Just relax. Breathe into any tightness. And exhale, just let it go. And then coming back onto your hands, bring your right hand outside your right foot, tuck your back toes under, step back to a plank, downward facing dog. So you've got all of that on the inside. Inhale, lifting your left leg. Doing that big circle all the way out to the side, bringing your left foot outside your left hand. Dropping your hips, opening up. And then extend your front leg. Bring your right foot slightly to the side, again using your block if you need to. Hips are square, engaging through your left quadriceps, pulling up the kneecap. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Breathing into it. Try to squeeze your left glute and hold it here, surrendering down. Pulling your feet towards each other again. Think about that energetic, energetic practice, pulling the energy from the floor, from the earth. Shift your weight forward, coming into the revolved half moon. Left hand on your sacrum, or you can lift it up. Strong back leg, <laughs> working with wobbles. Squeezing and lifting. Go. Looking to the ground will help with balance if it's not quite there today. And then changing hands. Again, using the block if you need to, stacking hip on hip, maybe lifting your arm, maybe going for balance, working through, slowly stepping, oh, stepping back, reversing your warrior, bringing the hand behind the hat we did before on the other side, lifting your heel, stretching through the side of your body. Making sure you're still breathing. And then release. Going for the opposite interlace this time. Open up your shoulders. Rebending humble warrior. Surrendering down. Squeezing your feet towards each other. Strong in your legs. And release. Hand leading to the inside of your left foot. Maybe a couple of little wriggles. And then drop your back knee. Stay on the hands or coming down. Nice deep breaths. Inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Placing your hands back up. Left hand outside the foot. Stepping back, downward facing dog. From here, we're going to come to a squat. Bend your knees. Step or jump your feet outside your hands. Have a little wriggle. Opening up through your hips. 
and then I'm going to grab my block. Coming down, and we're going to come into a reclining hip flexor stretch. You can have your block either low or medium. I would go for the low if you've got blocks like this that aren't quite as stable as the cork ones. Coming down, lifting your hips up, placing the block underneath your sacrum. You're going to bring your right knee right to your chest, then extend the left leg. This is an active stretch. You're using your left glute to open up rather than a passive stretch. By having your right knee right into your chest, it stops the movement coming from your lower back, from your lumbar spine. It forces it to come from your hip. And by using an active stretch, using your glute to open up, it actually means that your nervous system feels safe to allow you to go deeper. And enjoy. You should feel a nice stretch of the front of the left hip. And then you can release. Just have a little couple of breaths with your legs straight. More of a passive stretch. You can close down your eyes. And then change. Left knee right to your, the side, squeezing it in. Strong right leg. If your leg is really strong, you shouldn't be able to touch the floor. If you're getting it from your hip, you shouldn't be able to touch the floor. So, unless you're crazy flexible. Reaching in, breathing in. And then you can release. Just have a few breaths here. Both legs straight. Keeping your eyes closed. And then placing both feet flat, lifting the hips. Taking your rebound, you can even have your feet the width of the mat and just let your knees drop together. Or you can extend your legs. Just be soft. Feel your body supported by the earth. Feeling your breath in the belly. off with a little yin pose, grabbing your block. You can have it on the lower middle. You can go super high, but you'll need another block for your head. Place it underneath your shoulder blade. So under the shoulder blade rather than your lower back, bringing your head back. If your head isn't touching, you're going to need another block underneath your head. Arms can be overhead or by your sides. And then you're going to place your feet flat, knees together, and then to let your hips open, soles of the feet together, and just breathe. Opening up through the hips, through the heart. So we hold our emotions in our hips. So just noticing any, anything that comes up for you. And just acknowledging everything that comes up. And just let it go. Keep coming back to your breath. Allow your chest to expand, heart to open. And you can stay here a little bit longer if you have time. Keeping your eyes closed. those of you who want to close the practice now, bring your feet and your knees together, lift your hips, your chest up slightly to keep your eyes closed if you can, removing your block, and then just come to Shavasana, letting your feet drop to the side, palms to the ceiling, and just allowing your body to sink into the earth, fully supported. Allowing all the benefits of the practice to take hold.